Hello everyone, how are you all doing? This is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy. So first off, let me say yes, sorry, today we're not doing any cooking. You guys have asked me to talk about equipment during the live session because I was just back from a break. It was just an easy option for me to just sit down and have a bit of a chat video. So for the occasion, don't worry, I did something very special. So new name, new series and new equipment. As you can see here, I actually bought a semi-professional video camera, Cam quarter I'm going, to, I'm going to disclose very shortly and I'm going to talk about the differences the plus the minus the pros and cons about that setup or not when you have a YouTube channel the DSLR the camcorder and the reason why I decided to do this so if you're someone that wants to know the difference about the DSLR and the camcorder on YouTube Keep watching. If you're someone that thinks that camcorders are dead, on the other hand, well, I've got a few points I'd like to make that maybe might just change your mind. Now, lastly, I also have a little surprise for that new series called The Bench, a brand new intro. Let's roll it in. Welcome back and thanks for joining me on that first series of The Bench. So today we're talking about equipment and more precisely the equipment I am using in the context of a cooking channel. Now you would be amazed that I could not find any information on YouTube, any videos, no one, or maybe there's a few videos that kind of talk about the subject but they're really like top professional things. No one has been talking about the average Joe, like me, having a channel, doing a cooking channel, or trying to, and talking about equipment. What equipment do you need for a cooking channel? What is the best thing? So here you got the DSLR, and as I said, I just bought something different. A video a camera or camcorder. And I'm just going to show you exactly, let's move the cactus, I don't know why I put this here. So the camera I got is simply this one. The Canon HD XA30, it's an entry-level professional camcorder, it's only HD, it doesn't do 4K, and I'm not going to do any unboxing, don't worry about that. And this is just to show you what I've bought. Now, I do have a few pictures that I should put on the screen right now, uh, when you can see the different sides of the camera and the kind of inputs it's got. Now, the big question uh, you may ask is why on earth did I decide it? to get and buy a camera like this while I already have a DSLR. Well, the thing is uh, that this was uh, grown actually out of frustration. And as much as the DSLR is good when you have a cooking channel because you got the lens, you know, it can have like some really bright picture like this. The light today is very bad, so I'm really struggling with the camcorder. So with the DSLR, you always have like really bright lights, you know, kind of uh, art kind of looks and things like that. But there was a lot of things that were annoying me, especially in terms of this. Having to change lenses every time. And this is a reality if you want to start a cooking channel. Uh, if you use a DSLR, you're going to have to have a lens adapted for every single situation. So if you want a wide angle, you know, it's good to have a, a prime lens, as they call it, that just do the wide angle. If you want another shot, you want another lens. Or you can also get a zoom lens. That's what I've tried as well before. But these lenses are extremely expensive. That camera here, that I'm still using, it's a beautiful camera for pictures. If I wanted to buy a really good zoom and that does everything, I was talking about 1500 uh, Australian dollars, so more than a thousand US dollars just to have one attachment. And that's without the price of the camera that already costs about like something like $2,000 US, something like that, or a little bit less than that. So it's a lot of money, uh, you know, for this piece of equipment. And keep in mind that DSLR are really just made usually for photography. This is what people tend to forget. When it comes to video, yes, you can make video with it. Uh, and yes, you can have some really good shots. If you're making that kind of vlogging scenes or little snapshots, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. But the, the big problem with the DSLR, it is not made for continuous shooting. And continuous shooting, when you have a cooking channel, it is exactly what you're doing. So now, you don't see the camera, but it is plugged in the power which is something you don't have on this by default. You need to buy an expensive adapter that is really awkward to use. It's going to be tangled by the battery to have some kind of, uh, you know, continuous power. It is also warming up if you do this with a DSLR. And these are all the small reasons 
I started to move away from that. Another reason why I moved away from DSLR is the problem with focus. My last video was an absolute nightmare. If you look at the Vanilla Slides video, it's been a disaster of like focus, out of focus that I've tried to use with a new lens that I had here. And honestly, that had totally put me off and I said, that's it. I want something that is simple to use. It's not maybe going to be as sharp as the lens like this, but at least when you film something, everything is kind of in focus. You get that kind of film look and it's very, very easy to use. And it feels great in the hand. And you also get this with the camcorder. Now with this, as small as this may look, with a camcorder, I can sit here and if my take is wrong, for instance, I can do like bang, I'm stopping, bang, I'm recording again, bang, bang. I can control everything without moving and there's plenty of controls you can do just with this. And yes, I know you can also do the same with DSLR by downloading an app and connecting the app to the camera. But trust me, I've tried that. And after like 20 minutes of trying and not connecting, it kind of puts you off. So all in all, the reason why I got this camera, the XF30, is because this model for me was first of all affordable, uh, it was easy to use and it's fit for purpose. Now it's got all the connections I need, it's got all these external mics that I want to use in the future if I go on the field and do interviews on markets and stuff. Uh, it's got a 20 optical zoom, so if I'm far away, especially in market situation, you want to be far away and be able to zoom in, I'm going to be able to bring on some pictures and perhaps have someone to help me uh, to film. So someone can hold the camera and I can be presenting. There's all sorts uh, of options that I really, really like. Now it's really early days uh, with the camera. I've got it for 24 hours. So this is fresh off the press. This uh, is really gonna, I'm sure it's gonna look pretty bad, like the quality because I haven't wiggled with the settings and stuff like that. And of course the light situation, uh, this is something I've discovered when you use a camcorder uh, it is very important to have either a lot of natural light around you or have some of these lights like I have and you know try to brighten up the scene otherwise it is a bit of a struggle in low light but so far honestly I like to say that the experience with the camcorder has been really great and I'm learning a lot of things and this is my advice uh, the advice I can give you know if you, if you start a channel uh, I'd like to show you the progression I've made so this here okay iphone this is an, an iphone 6 plus uh, uh, this is what i've used the first year running my channel so i've got a food uh, channel a youtube food channel if you're new to the channel and i've been using solely that device here for one whole year to shoot all the videos if you look back on my series all the the first year video was shoot edited and uploaded with that one device only nothing else i had no microphones no lights nothing else at all i was just putting the the this on a clamp like that in some angle in the kitchen and i was just shooting after one year i kind of moved to this this is the other equipment i've been using in the second year uh, this is a, a canon 6d mark ii i've just tried that in to my old one it was a canon 6d because it was really cheap to do and i kept the lenses so this is the new model but this is what i've been using and i tried to learn about lenses about you know the uh, the focus, the aperture, and to have that kind of what they call that bokeh effect, which is that kind of blurry background, and you are in the foreground, like really, really sharp and crisp. Uh, and for picture taking, this is really great. You know, you want to, this is a full frame camera. This is what I'm using uh, to take uh, the pictures. So all the new thumbnails are taken with this, and it's a great camera for pictures. And DSLRs are great when it comes to pictures. And you can get an amazing picture making device like that, like a Sony for like 500 US dollars or maybe, you know, five or 600 Australian dollars. So the next stage for me was really evolution was to expand on the video functions because this has video is very limited. And the camcorder was really this, you know, and when I started the camcorder, I built it and I, you look at all the menus, all the things that you have, it's all dedicated to just the video making. And I'm sure, and I'm going to be using this more and more and try to go out there and, you know, and try to find what works and what doesn't. And it's really exciting. And since yesterday, honestly, I've learned already so much in terms of exposures and what I need to do, the bitrate for my video, all the formats I need to use, uh, the type of lightning, the cinema effect. There's, oh, there's plenty of little things 
that I was not even thinking about when I had that thing. Now, a last point, sorry, I'd like to make as well, is what I said in the intro. If you are someone that think that camcorders uh, are dead, uh, uh, I really personally don't think so. And I actually make a statement as of today that I think that camcorders and video cameras are actually making a comeback. And the reason for that is live streaming. And this is also another reason why I decided to buy this. Now, there's a lot of movement on Twitch, which is that uh, gaming uh, kind of platform, and there's a lot of live streamers. Now, to stream live with a DSLR is a pain in the neck because these things are absolutely not built for streaming. If you have a continuous power in there and you try to film yourself for one hour, if you're doing gaming or whatever thing, this is gonna start to heat up and maybe it just even shut down and you may not have the right crispness that you want and a lot of streamers actually are using camcorders. And by the way, thanks all the patrons, I've used the patron money, I've saved it after all this month and this is actually what uh, allowed me to buy this. Sorry about that, I totally forgot to mention this. Yes, this is where the money from the patrons came to invest in the channel. So thank you very much guys, uh, that's been amazing, I had to save for a few months and there it is. But whew, that reached the end of my little uh, discussion and uh, intro video coming back from a break. Sorry guys, uh, I will start doing some cooking. I think next week we're gonna try to do the crepes Suzette actually and these famous crepes uh, and uh, two versions, the crepe flambé and the crepe Suzette. And if you think the crepe Suzette actually has a flambé, you may be mistaken because it hasn't. It is a special recipe we're gonna see next week. So I see you all then as always, if you want to comment, if you have questions, about the equipment I'm using or some settings or if you intend to buy one I'll put all the links in the video description all the information and for me I'll see you then next week for another cooking video take care and I'll see you soon bye bye